Now, today we will start with a new chapter, Mechanism of Organic Reactions, right? This chapter is very important, right, to build your base in organic chemistry, right? Without knowing concepts of organic reaction mechanism, it would be very difficult for you to understand the organic chemistry that you would be doing in this class and next 12th class, right? And also if you want to study chemistry in higher degrees, right? So organic reaction mechanism, right? As the word says, organic reaction mechanism, in this we will understand the mechanism, right? Through which an organic compound reacts to form product. Right, when an organic compound reacts, right, to form products, right, the sequence of steps, right, through which a reactant, that is an organic compound, reacts to form the products, right, is known as your mechanism of organic reaction, right. It includes all the steps that a reactant undergoes before changing into products, right, because it has to. Go, go through some reaction intermediates, right? Reaction intermediates are short-lived compounds, right? They are, they are high, they have high energy, right? And it is difficult to isolate them, but some reaction intermediates can be isolated, right? It's, this is, this we would not be covering in this lecture. So, we would be looking into all the steps, right? through which a reactant that is an organic compound changes into products in the presence of an organic reagent, right? I'm sorry, in the presence of a reagent, right? So, mechanism, mechanism of organic reaction, it include steps, right? Where where an organic compound reacts and changes changes into products, right? So now one thing we know that when a chemical reaction takes place, right? When a chemical reaction takes place, what exactly happens? Chemical reaction will take place only when a bond will break, right, and a new bond is formed, a reactant in a reactant molecule bonds will break, right, and when reactants react to give you products, here bonds are made. Right? So, any chemical reaction is basically a breaking and making of bonds, right? Any chemical reaction involves breaking of bond and making of bond, right? Now, in this breaking and making of bonds, right? How exactly bonds are getting broken, right? In an organic reaction and how exactly new bonds are getting formed. This is what we would be looking into the mechanism of organic reaction, right? and a bond is broken because we know from chemical bonding that a bond is formed from a pair of electrons, right? If I write this a single bond, this means I have an electron pair, right? An electron pair makes this bond. So when a bond is broken, basically what is happening is this electron pair is either, is this electron pair will either get transferred to some other atom, right? Or it will, it, it may happen that one electron will go to one atom and the other electron will go to other atom. This we'll do in the next lecture, right? So basically it involves, the breaking of bond involves electron movement, electron movement. Right? Breaking of bond involves your electron movement, right? How this electron is moving, right? That makes up a chemical bond, right? In this organic molecule. 
so we'll be looking into electron movements right we'll be using these kind of arrows right when we'll understand the reaction mechanism of um, or organic reaction mechanisms right so basically when we would whenever we'll look into the mechanism of organic reaction just remember that in organic reaction the organic com inorganic compounds some bonds would be broken up so when a bond is getting broken what is exactly happening is it's this electron pair right that will the electrons in this electron pair will move to different atoms right and this is what we would be looking into organic reaction mechanism how this electron movement is taking place how bonds are getting broken how bonds are getting made and how the organic compounds are getting attacked by various reagents right now we have a terminology in organic reaction to an organic compound that is undergoing a chemical reaction we call it a we call it a substrate right to this organic compound we call it as a substrate right and this substrate will undergo a chemical reaction when a when a reagent will attack it right so this substrate would be attacked by a reagent right so when this reagent will attack this substrate molecule which is organic compound what it will form is a reaction intermediate reaction intermediate what is this reaction intermediate reaction intermediate is nothing but this organic compound right that is undergoing a breaking breaking and making of bond right when this organic compound is attacked by like when in, when any organic compound right as attacked by a reagent right a reagent may be a hydroxide ion or a proton a hydrogen ion right then this organic compound will undergo a change in bonds right so when it will undergo a change in bond for some time it will make it will convert into an intermediate intermediate right and this intermediate will immediately react right with atoms or groups around right to form new bonds right these intermediates will react with other atoms and groups right to form forming new bonds right these react these intermediates will react with will form new bonds right with sir with atoms or groups that are around it right in the reaction then what this reaction in intermediate will form products right so in organic reaction mechanism we will look all the sequence of steps from or from the substrate molecule when attacked by a reagent forming products right this is what is your organic reaction mechanism now one thing since i said these are your reagents oh and h right these are mostly or always your reagents are charged either they are negatively charged like oh hydroxyl ion or they are positively charged like a proton right so a negative or a positive charged species will attack only when your substrate right or your organic compound here is also positively charged or negatively charged right so one condition is for organic compound to be attacked by a sub by a reagent right for a organic compound right which is a substrate to be attacked by a reagent this organic compound should be positively charged or negatively charged but we know that organic molecules like methane right these are 
neutral these are electric these are neutral compounds what are these these are neutral compounds right so neutral these reagents which are hydroxyl ions or your protons will not attack will not attack a neutral compound right it will not attack the neutral compound so neutral so in order for it to attack this neutral compound we need to introduce charges in this neutral compound right and how to introduce charges suppose if i replace this hydrogen atom with chloride right okay earlier when why is it why is this compound neutral because the electronegativity of carbon and nitrogen carbon and i'm sorry hydrogen is nearly same i think the electronegativity of carbon is 2.5 and that of hydrogen is 2.1 since the electrical since the electronegativity is nearly same so the electron pair that forms this bond will remain somewhere in the in the middle right it, it's not displaced towards carbon or hydrogen right if it will displace to either of these atoms it will develop polarities right now suppose i replace hydrogen with chlorine we know that electronegativity of chlorine is high so atom that has high electronegativity will displace this electron pair towards itself now this carbon will develop a slight positive charge and this chlorine will develop slight negative charge so what we have got here is your polarities polarities right so introduction of an electro negative atom in methane molecule will result into polarities will result into a polar molecule right so if i change it into this methyl chloride right you have slight negative charge slight positive charge now this reagent right because organic reaction is a reaction between a substrate and a reagent and your reagent is positive or negatively charged right now this negatively charged reagent can attack this slight positively charged carbon atom right so when it will attack this positively charged carbon atom it might change into something known as intermediate then that intermediate will further undergo breaking or making of bond may positive uh, probably breaking of bond and to change into products right so one condition for this rea reagent to attack this organic compound which is a substrate is that the molecule should be pol polar right and the molecule can become polar if we introduce one way is to introduce a negatively charged or i'm sorry to introduce an atom that has higher electronegativity or if we introduce an atom here that has electronegativity difference with the carbon atom then it will result into the formation of or the development of polarities right on the carbon and the electronegative group if this is if this has more electronegativity then it will pull the electron pair of this bond towards itself developing a slight negative charge and if its electronegativity is lower than carbon then carbon will pull the electron pair towards itself thereby developing a slight negative charge onto the carbon atom right so these the, all this is, what is it involving this is a substrate molecule molecule right and when i'm saying the electron pair is getting displaced this is electron movement we call it, we will call it electron movement in organic reactions right so we would be looking into such electron movements and how reagents attack the positively charged carbon right or the negatively charged carbon this is all we would be looking into our organic reaction mechanisms right so if we define it if you want to define it what is a organic reaction mechanism organic reaction mechanism is a sequence of steps depicting depicting in the sequence of steps what we would be looking into 
the breaking of old bonds in the substrate molecule in the substrate molecule the breaking of old bonds in the substrate molecule and formation of new bonds leading to the formation of products right through the reaction intermediates this is your reaction mechanism right so i hope till this point we are clear what we going to do right so from next video lecture we will see some ways right of introducing these polarities how polarities are developed in organic compounds right we'll be we'll understand uh, look into inductive effect electromeric effect mesomeric effect right how polarities or how reactions right are exactly taking place in organic compounds i hope this is clear thanks